Hello, my amazing artists. Today we are going to be doing a really fun activity that involves our understanding of symmetry. Symmetry is when there is the same on both sides. We are going to be folding paper and cutting a symmetrical shape. You can see some examples of a variety of different shapes. We have some funky organic shapes. We have some simple recognizable shapes. This one is a heart. More organic, simple shapes. And some more complicated geometric shapes. We remember, boys and girls, that geometric shapes have angles or pointy parts. Organic shapes have rounded edges or smooth outsides. Regardless of what type of shape we are going to be doing today, our goal is to make them symmetrical. So, same on both sides. We are also going to be focusing on our cutting skills and amazingly, boys and girls, today we will not have any pieces of rubbish paper, no garbage from our work because whatever paper we cut from this side will become our opposite artwork. They are going to work together. Let's have a look at our materials and how we are going to create our work today. Today we're going to be using colorful construction paper. You may choose your colors in Roy G. Biv order, or if you'd like to choose colors in a variety of other arrangements, you may. Today we're going to be using four, two, seven, or eight papers. That's okay with me. As many as you have time for. You'll also need scissors and stick glue. Taking your first paper, we are going to fold our paper in half. For our shape, we really need our shape to open up on the folded side of our paper. This is going to help us have a symmetrical shape. We are also going to make our shape not touch the edges of our paper on the top side that's open and the bottom. Open your paper and double check that your shape opens up on the folded side. Your shape should be nice and big because later we are going to make our shape smaller and smaller as we cut. Now take your scissors once you've checked that it opens on the folded side and cut out your shape. I've cut out my shape and now I have two pieces of paper. When I open them up, I have what we call the positive shape. The positive shape is normally the shape that we keep. I also have a negative shape. This one is normally what we would consider to be our rubbish paper or paper we don't need. Today, like I said, we're gonna be keeping both of our papers to create two different artworks that work together. Putting aside your positive art, we then need to take our second piece of paper, fold it in half, and put it inside of our negative shape like a book. Make sure that the inside paper can also open up like the sheets of a book. Now comes the part where we're gonna start to make our shapes smaller and smaller. Take your pencil and about one finger width, you are going to trace the contour of your shape but smaller inside on that second sheet of paper. You may take off your negative shape, keep it together with your positive from the first paper, and now we are cutting our second piece. My positive shape I can set on top of my other positive shape and you'll notice that they are starting to get smaller. Again, we need the negative shape to go ahead and work on our third paper. Fold that paper in half, put it inside like a book, trace and cut. Oh, 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 oh. 
So I've got lots of positive shapes and I also have lots of negative shapes. I have put them on top of each other so I know how to glue them. But one thing that I notice is that I can still see a lot of the pencil lines on my negative shapes. So what I want to do is since my artwork is symmetrical, I can actually flip those pieces over so that I don't see those pencil lines on my finished work of art. So flip them and we want to make sure that the ones with the, the, the biggest shape goes on top for our negative artwork and the ones with the biggest shape goes on the bottom for our positive artwork. Okay. Now I'm ready to glue my two works of art together. I will start with my positive shapes. For my positive shapes, I'm gonna start with my smallest piece and a stick glue. Put the glue on the smallest piece first, flip it over and align it so that the line of the folded paper is there in the center and continue. Next, we are gonna work on our negative gluing. For this one, boys and girls, I would highly suggest starting by just doing a line of glue on the edges of your paper, putting it down onto the next piece, and then kind of arranging it and seeing if there's other places where you need to glue down. Sometimes this very first piece is a little tricky to glue because it's such a skinny, fragile piece of paper. So start with that and see if there's other places that need glue. Sneak some glue underneath and that will help you to make sure that it lies flat. That's a bit easier than gluing everything first and trying to shuffle it around. So again, just a line of glue in a couple places on the back and then flip it over onto your next one to line up and arrange more carefully. At the end, please make sure to roll down your glue stick before putting the cap back on. Okay, we have completed our symmetrical contour lines and now I'm ready to turn it in. But before we turn it in, please turn your paper over to the back and write your name, class, and number clearly in the center of the back of your paper. I should not see anybody's name going on the front. This is your artwork and we want it to be undistracted by your name. All right, boys and girls, I hope that you enjoy folding and cutting some symmetrical designs. And remember, you are able to do lots of fun shapes. So really use some creativity to explore maybe a geometric shape or an organic one.